I used to be an extremely shy and socially awkward kid. I remember going to parties and speaking to girls for maybe a couple of minutes before they got bored and started to walk away. I remember I couldn't really have conversations with men either. We had nothing to talk about and they seemed to get disinterested. After years of this, I began to believe that I was ugly and awkward and that's just the way I am. Maybe that's just the way I was born and I would never find success when it came to social situations, especially with women, and especially with women that I found attractive. I had so many negative encounters. I started to label myself. Other guys around me seemed to have so much more success with women and social situations. So one day I started to wonder what could possibly separate me from these other guys. And after many hours of research and Looking back at my past, journaling about what had actually happened, I think I found the answer. And that's what I want to share in this video today. If you're someone who goes into every conversation confident and comes out the other side with the other person completely obsessed with you, then this video isn't for you. You can just skip this video and watch a different one on my channel. But if this isn't you, and you know you go into conversations but you're not 100% fully confident that they're going to be obsessed with you afterwards, they're going to be texting you, they're going to be calling you, they're going to be wanting to know more about you, then this video is for you. Let me show you four techniques I used to improve my charisma drastically. However, first, before we do that, let's actually define what charm is and why it's so important for young men to have this skill. Charm is the power or the quality of fascinating delighting or attracting others. Therefore, I believe that this is one of the more important skills to acquire for a young man looking to find success in relationships, in finances, in health. And these four habits that I'm about to explain will help you get to that situation. Habit one is eye contact. Now we all know this guy. You're speaking to him and his eyes are darting everywhere except to your eyes. He's looking at the wall, he's looking at the windows, he's looking at the door, he's looking at the floor. This guy cannot hold eye contact for his life and not being able to hold eye contact is one of the most uncharming traits any young man can have. When I started to improve my eye contact, people started to respect me more, they started to actually listen and engage with what I was saying and started to believe that I was passionate and telling the truth about what I was actually speaking about. The conversation wouldn't go dry as quickly and they'd stay engaged and hooked because they believed what I was saying and believed that I was passionate about it. Now some of you may be thinking, okay, how do I actually improve my eye contact then? And let me give you some tips that I use to improve my eye contact pretty drastically. Like I said, I used to be completely socially awkward. However, I started going on walks in nature. I heard about it as a good daily habit for mental health and it is, but it also improved my eye contact immensely. Just going on walks, if it's in nature, if it's just around your area and the people that walk past you, just make eye contact with them. Make eye contact with them and smile. That's all you need to do. Some will make eye contact back and smile back. Some will give you a death stare and look like they want to beat the fuck into you. And some won't even look at you at all. They'll just stare at the floor. Just take it as it comes. Just make eye contact and it's about you making eye contact. Practicing being able to lock eyes with a stranger and hold that eye contact confidently with a smile on your face and this will improve your eye contact drastically. And then when you come to situations where you're one-on-one -on -one speaking, maybe with an attractive woman or with a guy that you're trying to network with, this eye contact will come in handy. Habit two is politeness. Now I feel like politeness is a lost art these days. There's a lot of red pill alpha males who will tell you, yeah bro, you don't need to be polite. Don't say please, don't say thank you. It makes you weak. But to be charming, you need these manners and you need to be polite. Most people are too immersed into their phones to even acknowledge that you're having a conversation or they simply just don't use manners at all. You will receive the same energy as that you put into the conversation. Therefore, by using manners, being polite, saying please and thank you at the end of your sentences, you're giving off the energy that you are a polite and mannerful young man. And trust me, these manners go a long way. People notice, especially women, they notice if you're rude, if you're disrespectful, and if you don't use your manners correctly. Yes, in some situations, you're not supposed to say please and thank you if you're trying to be authoritative, but in 90% of situations where you're trying to build a relationship, these manners are extremely helpful and it makes you seem so charismatic. And this will lead to people wanting to speak to you more often because they know that they'll get a positive, good outcome from the conversation. Just quickly, before we get into habits three and four, which are real big habits, I wanna tell you about the free community in the description. It's literally just, like I said, a free community for us lads who are on self-improvement or trying to get on self-improvement. 
we chat in there we talk about our failures talk about our wins just have daily conversations so if you're looking to join a tribe of young men on self-improvement and actually contribute to a movement towards something then check out the free community in the description like i said it's completely free and the only downside you'll have is that you'll have more notifications on your phone habit three is the touch technique now this habit needs to be used wisely it has massive upside if it comes off but at the same time it has a huge risk if done wrong touching and human contact is one of the most charming skills out there however like i said it needs to be executed to perfection the contact needs to be subtle but noticeable one easy way to do this is just a simple handshake with men you want to make it firm and instant and with women it wants to be instant but more subtle and gentle. It's literally so easy if you're introduced to a new person just to shake their hand. It'll instantly start off the conversation not on an awkward note and make them feel more comfortable with you immediately. Another easy way to get some human contact in is maybe a tap on the shoulder. You know, for men, maybe a nice firm grip on the shoulder, maybe when you're laughing or there's a bit of humor in the conversation. And for a woman, maybe just a touch on the shoulder or a touch on the back, just to ensure that she knows that you've got that subtle human contact. And that human contact just makes it so much less awkward. It makes the other person exposed to become so much more comfortable with you. And then they'll start to open up. And this is where people will want to start contacting you more often because they are comfortable speaking to you and being around you. So throw in some human contact every now and again. It doesn't have to be constant make it subtle but at the same time kind of noticeable and it'll just open up that person to become more comfortable with you in the conversation and the final habit is compliments now when i say compliments i don't mean the cliche compliments oh my god you are so pretty oh my god your eyes are beautiful they've heard it all before it's fucking boring mate if you speak to any attractive woman she will tell you that she gets so many compliments about the way she looks or her face structure and her eyes pretty much every single day. It gets boring and it gets tedious for them. And this is where you can come in. It is so charming to compliment the subtle things about another human being. Now, let me explain what I mean. Maybe you're having a conversation with an attractive woman and you know, maybe you learned a little bit about fashion and you compliment her dress and ask her, oh, is that is that dress from brand X? This compliment will spark a conversation, first of all. And second of all, it'll make her think, wow this guy knows his stuff wow he's kind of observant he's seen that my dress is like how does he know this stuff another easy compliment that maybe maybe she's got some new nails done you know girls take so much pride in their nails and maybe she's got some new nails done and you say wow i love how the nail color goes so well with the outfit you're wearing but just something subtle but shows that you've been observant and you're not just one dimensional and you've just looked at her face and been like immediately oh you're pretty oh you've got nice eyes like, no, she doesn't care about that stuff. She wants the subtle stuff. She wants the stuff that no one usually compliments her about, but that she's put a lot of effort in to make it look good. And this works on the flip side with men also. You know, if you're having a conversation with a successful businessman, he doesn't want to be told that he is good at business. He knows he's fucking good at business, bro. He's got a successful business. He gets told multiple times a day that he's good at business. He knows this shit. Maybe you go down a different route, again, being more observant and say, Wow, you're really good at balancing family life while running a business. You know, it's really impressive how he's such a good father while running a business. You know, and maybe if he's not a father, then you say, Wow, it's really impressive how, how well you publicly speak and how easy you make it look while having so much pressure on you. You know, it's a real talent that I don't think you know that you have. Just a subtle compliment that they don't usually get because it'll just make them think about you more often and they'll want more of these subtle compliments and therefore they'll have more conversations with you in the future. And like I said, when you look for the subtleties, it makes you look like an observant person. And this is one of the more charming traits to have as a young man. So there we have it. They are four habits that you can start developing right now to make you more charming and start making people obsessed with you. Like I said, check out the free community in the description. I got other free stuff in there, free book summaries, free. Uh, I got other free stuff in there, like a book summary. I've got the domination center in there. I've got my one-to-one -one coaching in there bunch of stuff in the description i highly recommend you check it out if you are ambitious and you are you know on self-improvement you want to become more charming and more social then i highly suggest you check out the description and yeah apart from that have a good day king